Shalom. You're on mute. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rename myself. Probably not a bad idea.
Okay, how do I do that? Go to go, hit on the where it has your name and it tap on it and it'll say give you the option to rename. Go into participants. I'm the host. You're the host. We're both hosts. It's a. It'll say host you. It'll say me on yours. All right. Uh, yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. There you go. Uh oh. Hold on. Am I in there? Yeah. It says Rabbi Tello now. Yeah. I've lost control of technology. Yeah, when I'm giving you advice, you might want to get therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Yeah, I forgot to ask um, someone to go Zoom by tonight. Uh, maybe I'll text Sharianna or something. Uh, do you want to? Should I? Uh, for the lag, it's more for the later when people start talking and stuff to help. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll, let me get my phone and I'll text her. All right, all right, thanks. I appreciate it. And John, if you want Janice to sing, that's fine. Okay. I, I have no issues. Okay, let's see if she's here. Uh, should be. Hmm. All right, I'll admit everybody in the meanwhile and we'll schmooze for a few minutes. Or do you want to schmooze? Oh, maybe I'll cut the schmoozing. Yeah, let's not schmooze. All right, so hold on. Let me find the share screen. Okay. Welcome everyone, welcome. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry for the reason that you're here and I'm glad that you're here. All right, can you hear us now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you, Rabbi. You're welcome, you're spotlighted. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be spotlighted. We feel like we've been hit by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, playing with Zoom, fun with Zoom. Fun sure, with we'll sign on in just a minute. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Welcome everybody. Um, can you see everybody there, Shelley? Yes. That gallery view going? Yep, it's coming. So after the service, we'll share, you know, so um, if you'll prepare images or um, thoughts that you'd like to share, and then um, maybe, uh, Shelley, if you can sort of call on the first couple people, if you see anybody you'd like to hear from in particular. Um, and then we can go around from there. Uh, right. But we'll start in a moment with um, some prayers and blessings. And um, I'll share the screen and we'll dive in. We'll pray a Marib service, an evening service. And behind every word and every breath, uh, we'll be thinking about Steve and um, praying for his soul. Um, so here we go, I'm gonna share. And Ken Levine will lead us in the Maori service. <laughs> There's a one there. Oh, same one. Ja, kan jag vinna vackra saker. 
We'll begin with the Maori service, page 137. <clears throat> Baruch Adonai Am Barach Leolam Ba'em Baruch Adonai Am Barach Leolam Ba'em Baruch Adonai Leolam Ba'em Baruch Adonai Leolam Ba'em Baruch Adonai Leolam Ba'em Baruch Adonai Leolam Deep is your love for us. Thank you, God, for your gift of Torah. Silently, page one thirty-eight. <laughs> Adonai Eloichem Emet. We have a question for you. Adonai Eloichem Emet. Who made the world? Who made the world? Who made the world? Page 140. Friends, let's uh, pray together in the English. Help us, Adonai, to lie down in peace and awaken us again, our sovereign to life. Spread over us your shelter of peace. Guide us with your good counsel. Save us because of your mercy. Shield us from enemies and pestilence, from starvation, sword, and sorrow. Remove the evil forces that surround us. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings, O God, who watches over us and delivers us, our gracious and merciful ruler. Guard our coming and our going. Grant us life and peace now and always. Praised are you, Adonai, eternal guardian of your people, Israel. <laughs> Sikadish.
Ikadari Kadashim Miraba. The Almighty Rakiru Tevium Lich Mahute, Behaikon Vimehon Behaikon of Israel, Bagalav, Mangari Vimaro, Amen. Yes, Miraba, Mibarak, Elam Lamaya, Yitbarak, Ishabati, Parvit of Mavina, Sevi, Hadari, the Lavinosh, Mercury Shaberi, who Lamin Kobir Katar Shirata. Tush bechata v'nekamata d'amir amil mavi meru amen. Amen. Continue with the silent amida. We take a few moments and we can use the text uh, from our tradition, or we can pray from our hearts. A few moments to soak in the love that's connecting in this moment. We continue with Kaddish Shalem on page 149, followed by Aleinu and then the Mourner's Kaddish, page 149. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Okay. 
Yomahu, ba Yomahu, ya Adonai Kar, O Shema, O Shema, O Shema Kar. Friends, we recite the Mourner's Kaddish, so I'll ask the mourners to unmute. And uh, follow along with me for the mourner's Kaddish. Here we go. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadal, Shame Rabba, the Alma, the Zrak, the Rute, the Amlich Mahute, the Haye Hon, of Yome Hon, of Haye, the whole Beit Israel. Bagala, Isma Karay, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevorach Le Olam Lome Omaya Yitarach, the Ishtabach, the Yitar, the Yit Romam, the Yit Nase, the Yit Hadar, the Yit Ale, the Yit Halal, Shme, the Kudisha, Brihu, the Ela, the Inko, Birchata, the Shirata. Tushpahata, Zechamata, Da'amiram, Da'ama, Imru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Amin, Shemaya, the Chaim, Aleinu, the Alkol, Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. Ose, Shalom, Imruma, who Yaase, Shalom. Aleinu, Yalko, Israel, the Imru, Amen. 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 May the one who makes peace above bring peace and comfort to us below. Together we say Amen. 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 Uh, let's check in uh, over there. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Right. Um, so we've got uh, a lot of folks here. Um, that uh, want to share memories. Is there anybody in particular that you'd like to call upon to begin, or shall we just? I, I think anyone right who's now? ready to raise their hand and <laughs> speak up, we're welcome. Get, get the ball okay, rolling, so. maybe for others. Here we go. Leslie and Sandy Weiner, dear. Robin's family. Um, love you all so much, and we are so sad for this great, great loss. Your dad was just a gem, a gem of a fellow. And I, whenever you saw him, there was always a smile on his face. And of course, during high holiday services and whenever the choir sang, we made sure that we sat in good seats so we could see the choir and really enjoy the service even more, the inspiration, the beauty of the music and the faces. And I would always look at your dad and Shelly, I would always look at you and your dear mom of blessed memory, always look at your mom. And she and I go way back when they did Fiddler on the Roof at the center. And she was the one in charge of all the costumes. It was very exciting. But your dad, never without a smile, gracious to everyone. And Elaine, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I remember coming to visit you and Stephen had just brought in your dogs to visit. And I thought, what a special friend. And to know that the two of you have traveled the world on cruises and enjoyed <clears throat> the company of each other and your, uh, demand that you're very independent and uh, very lovely. Um, I will miss seeing Shelly, the beautiful picture of you and your dad singing last night, via, uh, last year, via Zoom for the high holidays. Yes. That was such a precious picture of the two of you together. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to, to call. And we just send out our love and care for your whole family. I would just add, I was describing your dad to someone. I said, he's Mr. Sweetness. Uh, yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. I see David's here. Hi, David. David. Hi. I um I just wanted to share my condolences and and my love with the Robbins family, with Elaine, and with everybody. Of course, we're um, shocked and saddened, and um, all coming together as a community. Um, I just wanted to share a few thoughts about Steve, who I had the pleasure of knowing over my last um, years now with Chris um, Um I remember when I first uh, became the Chazan in residence there, um, I, I took uh, the outgoing cantor, Lance Rhodes, we went out to dinner and um, I asked him his advice. Uh, we, we had a good relationship and I wanted his, I wanted his thoughts and um, he, he didn't really give me too much. The one thing he said was, take care of the choir. And he specifically mentioned Steve. Um, Barbara had just passed away earlier that year and uh, there was some question as to whether Steve was going to be in the choir um, just the upcoming year. Uh, he wasn't sure, but he said, no matter what, Steve is someone that you have to get to know. Um, well, uh, of course he was in the choir that year and he was totally right. Um, he had the loveliest way of just making you feel like you were his dear friend. And he made me feel so welcome and supported. And he did that for me. He called me personally. He walked me through the process of what it was gonna be like rehearsing with the choir. He told me who the problem children were. <laughs> he, was, he had a great sense of humor about it. And he always wanted all of us to do our best. He really did. He was a stickler for everyone being there on time. He wanted us to have our binders ready and open to the right selection. He wanted our cell phones powered off. He wanted our pencils ready to take notes. He wanted us paying attention to Adam. Any side conversations, he was a shusher. You know, he was, but, but what was amazing was he could do it in the most loving and sweet way. And that was something that I sometimes struggled with. I didn't know how he could do that. He could enforce discipline. And I think part of it was just his amazing tenure with that choir and the relationships over so many years that he had developed. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, he came, uh, he, he called me up and said, David, I have some ideas for the upcoming season with the choir, recruiting new members, and um, I want to visit with you for lunch. And it happened to be at a really particularly busy time. We were just making the season announcement at the opera. And he said, don't worry about it. I'll come downtown. I'll come to you. So you just need to walk across the street. We'll meet at Bira Peretti's. And he did. And he had a whole legal notepad full of notes and ideas. And he would share all these constructive ideas for how the choir would grow. Um, and he wanted me anytime we had a new choir member to tell him who they were and give him their contact and uh, give him their contact information so that he could call them. And I soon realized that he was doing for them what he had done for me when I first joined and making them feel that same sense of family and welcome. Um, I remember the joy, Shelley, when you came and joined us in the choir again uh, a few years ago and the, the just the nachas and the thrill that he had of being able to sing together with you in the choir and the thrill we all had of having your beautiful voice with us and your presence and your light and your energy and how we all shared the bima together for the high holidays and how much I wish I had known your mother as well. And it just felt like everybody was saying, this is it, you know, you're getting the Robbins family experience right now. Um, I, I love you, Shelly. I can't wait to give you a hug and share stories of your dad together. Um, I'll, I'll share just uh, quickly again. I, I remember uh, one year I, the, after, after Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur was able to bring the choir to the final dress rehearsal um, at the opera for Faust we were doing that year and was able to get a little block of tickets and we all went and um, he, he was sitting in the back row with my dear friend Elaine and I, I sat down next to them. And I remember at the, at the intermission, at the break, um, you know, he would turn to me and he'd speak about the performance and he was so enthusiastic and he had so much love and so much just, uh, just joy about the whole experience. And he was so excited. And he was the kind of guy where 
even his critiques sounded like compliments. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you do that, but he, <laughs> even the things where he was just being critical of the singer, it sounded like he was paying them a compliment. He just didn't have a negative thing to say about anyone. Um, I, I'll, I'll just wrap up with this. I, I had a teacher once that told me that the word amateur comes from the Latin, ama, which means to love. So an amas or amorous or something like, it's that same root word, amateur. So the highest form of something that you can aspire to be is to be an amateur. That's the ultimate, that a professional does something for money, but an amateur does something for love and we should strive to be amateurs. And that, that, was, that was Steve in this choir and in getting to know him. And um, I, I miss him so much. I see his big, bright, beautiful smile and um, I just miss him so much. And to the Robbins family, may you be comforted by the mourners of Zion and um, sending you all my love. Thank you, David. Love. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, uh, I just want to uh, say that I know Steve mostly through the Gilbert and Sullivan Society. People talk about Gilbert and Sullivan. It was really Gilbert, Sullivan, and Robbins. And uh, he welcomed me into the society. He, he led it so well for so many years. He was truly a, a right good captain. And uh, it, it grew to such a wonderful prominence under his direction. And I personally am, am very grateful that he welcomed me in uh, and, and uh, it, it's wonderful to be part of a family that, that he played such a big part in establishing. Thank you. Thank you for honoring him. You. I'll mute it. Okay. Hello, Francie. Fred. How you doing? Hi, Fred. It's good to see you, Fred. Fred. Hi, Fred. Well, I'm, Hi, Fred. I'm particularly uh, like to see Francie there. That's who she is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, put her in the front there. <laughs> anyway, Fred and I obviously give condolences. We love Steve. We enjoyed being with him. And just a few quick things, very much. Few people knew that Steve liked to gamble. I don't know whether you know it, but the reason I raise it, Shelley, particularly, he owes me two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to give. Got a, I got. I have a mute button. I'm going to give button. you a discount. A hundred dollars would be all right. <laughs> but Steve at the last cruise we were on, he did gamble and he won and he stopped. He said, I have enough to pay my virtual loan dues. <laughs> and then he stopped. That's right. That was interesting. <laughs> as far as the choir, very quickly, David, uh, doing, um, doing a dinner one night, I had some ideas and he said, give it to me. And he got from the waiter, a piece of paper and a pen and wrote down the ideas. And hopefully, I'm sure he gave you some and I'm sure you crossed out every single one that I gave. <laughs> <laughs> Steve had, as many people have said before, he had a way about him. Uh, I must though correct, a uh, Steve, wasn't all smiling and happy and jovial. When he had strong ideas, he kept those ideas and he expressed them. He didn't always express them with a smile. He was serious. There were things about the world that was going on that we all are serious. Well, Steve was also serious. There was a strict side to him that I enjoyed because I gave, he cooked, and we went back and forth. And that is where you develop a friendship. That's where you develop respect. 
And one thing I had for Steve always was the respect. The choir obviously will be missing a wonderful voice. Uh, he looked to the left and right, and God forbid somebody was late, <laughs> late, he would say something, okay? <laughs> and there were one or two who were always late. <laughs> so we got those one or two and said, don't be late, okay? I knew, Shelley, I knew your mother quite well. She was stricter, particularly in the choir. I stood behind her and I asked her a couple of times to bend a little bit lower because she was tall. <laughs> and if you stood behind Barbara, you know, you couldn't see the choir master or director. And she looked at me and she said, you move. <laughs> Which was not unusual for Bob. But they were a wonderful couple. Fran and I will miss them dearly. And the one thing I must also say, there was, we were shocked. Uh, we so had just I seen Steve. He walked in with his newspaper. He was ready to have breakfast. And we sat down together and talked and had fun. It was last week. It was last week. And well, the week before. When you lose a dear friend like that, as opposed to someone being in the hospital, having the virus, having the flu, having pneumonia or whatever, your body may self prepare. You think the best, but you also have in mind, I hope he makes it at somebody that age. When somebody leaves us that fast, it's frightening. And we are still not over his death. I say also to Elaine, who is I'm sure on there. Oh, we share. I don't have your feeling, but we do share. And we love Steve. He had a way about him that was comforting. Um, you got, by the way, I must say, you got into his car wherever we went. There was wonderful music playing, always, always. It was a little bit loud, but you know, you compensate, you listen to it. And I have nothing more to say other than if somebody has a friend like Steve. You're blessed. You're blessed and you're lucky because he was one in a million and I will dearly miss him. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Fred you. and Thank you. Fran. Thank we you love you. Friend. Giving very you a big sweet. hug. Your father was very special. If I may just continue, um, just short. When we would go on cruises together, he would continually ask me, what do I want to drink? In the evening, we would all be dressed for dinner and all the music and the, the fun that was going on. And he'd always feed me Bailey's Irish cream. And I loved it. And then he <laughs> said, one isn't enough, Fran. You got to drink too. I said, are you kidding me? And he says, Fran, you got to drink too, and then everything is going to look beautiful. I said, I got news for you. Everything already looks beautiful. <laughs> and we always joked about that. And, you know, there's such love with him. It was a wonderful cruise for the four of us. And uh, when we saw him, I guess it was two weeks ago. I mean, it was yeah, like around the corner. Uh, we sat and we talked, and I asked him if he got his shots. Because I wanted him to come to the house. I said, if you don't have your shots, you can't come for dinner. So he said, no, I'm waiting. I said, what are you waiting for? He says, well, I'm on the list of wherever he was on the list for, I think uh, one of the drugstores. I said, call the doctor and get yourself on the list soon. I said, because Pesach is coming and you know what? You are gonna come for dinner. And he said, I'll see what I can do, Fran. I says, you're a good lawyer. <laughs> and we hugged and and I think it just was shortly thereafter um, 
I was going in, we would just over the over when didn't have any electricity or anything. And I went into the bagel shop to get something and we met your father and Francie and uh, they were going in to eat something. And that was, I don't know, 10 days ago, maybe. I don't know how long ago, but he was very special to us and um, he will be missed. And it was just a shock. And I don't think Fred and I have gotten over it yet, but um, we wish you well. And if you need to talk, We'll be with somebody that wants to talk about. Don't lose our number. Perfect. Thank, Thank you so you. much. That was very sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Very sweet. If I could follow on Fred and Fran, because um, I think the last time I actually saw your father was at Fred and Fran's for dinner. I know, obviously, this was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I'm I'm so sorry, Shelley, and the rest of the family. Uh, as and and Elaine, uh, you know, seeing him taking care of you every time you came into the synagogue was was uplifting. It really was to see that. And as is, I think I still am the newest member of the choir, I believe. Uh, yeah. And it was it was a privilege to. Oh, wow. um, either be sitting next to him or one away from him, singing the same parts, listening to him carrying the carrying the basses at times when uh, you know some of us didn't know the music quite as well as perhaps we should have. Uh, but just to echo, he immediately welcomed me with, with open arms and said, here, let me help you if you ever need anything. And, and uh, was a you know, just a, a wonderful person to be with and around and very welcoming. And I'm, uh, I'm going to miss him. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Martin Keg, and I would like to uh, offer my condolences and also um, echo some of the sentiments expressed by other choir members about Steve's role, um, not only as a bass, which I don't understand very well, uh, but also <laughs> as part of the, the group of people that were on choir committees that sort of planned things and debriefed on things and so forth. So it was not only in the meetings that we had where Steve's voice of reason and calm and judgment came through, but it was also before and after the meetings where I was worked up and he was still calm. Um, and I always found him to be a person of, of stage advice and even temperament. Now, some people may know him in a different mode, but that's the Steve I knew. The other venue that we knew Steve, of course, was through the Gilbert and Sullivan Society. And there was nothing more enjoyable than calling the Gilbert and Sullivan box office late, hoping that there were still tickets left for one of the performances and having the voice on the other end of the phone being Steve Robbins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then being able to pick the, the tickets up at the box office and Steve being there. So I enjoyed it then. It was always a great pleasure to have that familiar voice on the other end of the phone when calling the box office. So I will treasure that. And I say, I wish you my condolences. We're all very shocked, always thought of him as being robust and healthy and so forth and so I'm really sorry that he's no longer with us. Thank you Martin. Thank you Debbie. Um, I didn't know... Oh sorry, sorry Suzanne go ahead. I didn't know Steve anywhere near as well as other people who have talked. I can say though, I will not be able to go to the original bagel shop anymore without thinking that he's probably sitting at like the third booth from the front, frequently with Elaine with him, but not always. And it was just wonderful. He greeted me like I was a long lost friend. Um, he had a wonderful way of making people who didn't know him well feel like they did. 
And Shelly, I just want to give an aside to you. After the issues and the problems I had last year when we were trying to do the things for the high holidays, um, I'm taking voice lessons now. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Who You're knows? Great, Suzanne. You're great. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Thank you. And if Elaine is there, hello to her too. May I say something? Oh, hold on. Look who's oh my here. goodness, I see Judy Goldman on. Oh my God. Well, in fact, uh, you know, I, I, I am also shocked and so, so sad. And we go back, you know, if some of you have expressed the feelings as new choir members. I have to express my feelings as probably one of the oldest choir members. Um, and we go back many, many years, I think like what, 35 years. And we went through follies uh, when we went through uh, concerts and all kinds of things. And Steve was there and Barbara was there. And now Elaine is there. And it's just, it, it is just impossible to imagine that he's not going to be there. I'm, I'm sorry. Shelly and family, I want to send you my most sincere condolences. May you just remember all the wonderful memories and that will help you. And let us hope for better things in the future. Betty. All my love to you. Thank you. We love Thank you, you, Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John Mary, Mark, Mary, you? Mary something and showing. Hi, how are you? Hi, John. Hi. Hi, Hi remember John us? <laughs> my love to you and Ben. My condolences to your family. It's a horrible situation. Ancy and Jody, you got to stick behind your people now. Yeah, <laughs> we do, and I do. So I'm so grateful um, for our families being merged. Um, thank you so much. It's a gift. And um, I'll say that Gilbert, Gil, Gilbert and Sullivan was the most entertaining that I got from your dad. And Stanley and I got to enjoy that. So I appreciate everything that your family did. And I miss Baba too, very much. So thank you for having us in your family, Ben and Shelly, and our condolences from the Ginn family. Thank, thank you, you, John Marcus. Uh, John Marcus, we love you. John, it, I, love um, you. it's been awesome to be a Robbins. I'm one, I'm married into the family, but my two kids and through all this process realized what all they got from him. I mean, things I didn't see, uh, just, I, I, I it's, it's too much to share, but um, what a family, like you said, to merge into and love the Jen family too. Well, we love you. So many, we I love, love you too. very much. I love our, your family. Our, our, your entire family. It's a yeah. horrible loss for yes. your, your the Jewish community. What what he's done in his life, and it's it's just amazing loss. But out of loss, we always gain strength and comfort from our other family members, and we always, always, always have memories. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sweetheart. We love you. Thank you, baby. I love y'all very much. Bye. I'll say something. Um, hello. Uh, th there's one good thing about Zoom is that uh, even when you're far away, you can be with your friends New York. when you when you really want to be there. Uh, Shelly and Ben and Jody and Francie. 
I'm very sorry. It's a terrible loss. And I have many memories myself. Jody, I want to say uh, that's the most, excuse me, uh, Shelley. I want to say that's the most wonderful obituary I've ever read in my life. And thank you very much. Oh, well, it was a, a team effort and, and we had good material, Judy. You sure did. <laughs> Thank you. Self-written oh. with a guy like Papa, as we call him. He was Papa to us. So self-written. Thank you. That Judy. was nice. You, Judy. Very nice of you to say that though. You always made him laugh. Oh, he always laughed. He always laughed. Yeah. It wasn't hard to make him laugh, I would say that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, thank, thank you. Judy. It's good to see you, Judy. Mwah. Love you. Um, I'll speak um, first of all from this. I'm I'm just devastated to to learn about Steve's death, and I hope that you will be comforted with wonderful memories of a really really wonderful man. One day, Gilbert and Sullivan is going to be back doing live shows, and how in the world am I going to get a good ticket if Steve is in <laughs> the box office? Um, uh, Steve and Barbara were so welcoming to me when I joined the choir surreptitiously years ago. And, uh, and I do remember from this, and though only a few people in the choir might remember this, that Steve actually had a couple of solos during the high holidays back in the day when we were in the old building. And it's kind of spilled over a little bit when we, uh, when we came into the new building as well from this. And I loved listening to just his very, very deep voice and um, from this, and it was just wonderful. Um, actually, my, my biggest memory, of course, is of your mom from this, and, and my favorite story about her is the story about the mink coat. Um, she came into services for, it must have been for Hanukkah or something. She's wearing a full length mink coat when nobody was doing that. And, and everybody in the choir went, oh! and she says, the mink and I were friends. <laughs> we grew up together. We were best friends. We went to college together. We were roommates. We were maids of honor at each other's weddings. We <laughs> had children together. And then one day, the mink got very sick. <laughs> and she was on life support and called me to her bedside. And with her dying breath, she said to me, Barbara, make me into a coat you can wear. <laughs> and um, this, and <laughs> I was laughing about that one day to Steve. When this and Steve goes, "Oh yeah, the mink." <laughs> I don't know if he was ever amused by the story or had ever heard it, but um, it was one of my one of my favorite stories of them and how he made just made me laugh so much. So, and again, I I'm, I'm so devastated for your loss from this, and I really hope that all of you will be blessed with good memories of a very very wonderful man who's made such a difference in so many lives. Thank, Thank you. you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for the the hearty laugh and all the good. Good memories. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. Great. Just hadn't great. heard it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I'd like to share a few oh, pictures of, from the choir back in the day oh, when nice. uh, oh. Steve, oh. Steve always always shared my sense of wanting to have really high production values and but he did so with so much more grace and so much more um just a, such a great sense of humor really um and it, it just was it was he was so easy to be with and he always made everyone feel good about themselves he just was that way. He, he, he was just like the embodiment of Menschlichkeit. This was uh, the last picture that I think the choir, I took of the choir, uh, maybe one of the last times that we were all um, together. 
was this one. And I think um, oh. this was in the, just before High Holidays uh, 2019. <laughs> uh, and I think this was the last time, uh, the last season that the choir actually had an opportunity to sing together. And uh, so I just, I, I wanna say how much we all loved Steve, and I'm sure no one could love him more than all of you and Elaine. My heart goes out to you, and I hope and pray that you will find comfort as you walk the mourner's path toward healing. Thank, Thank you, Janice. You. Thank you so much for those sweet Thank photos you. and all that you have done to, to help support music and art and in the sensitivity uh, that that music can do to, to bring healing to, to the, the sick or, or the grief. So thank you so much. Thank you. Uh. Hi, I'm